What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and in today's video, we recently checked out the new Avril Lavigne album. I did a album reaction here on YouTube. I also did a full uncut album reaction, which you can check out over on Patreon where we kind of listen to the whole thing. It's a vibe. Um, I love this album so much. I just feel like this was the era of Avril that I've kind of always wanted. I feel like growing up, um, hearing that first album from her, I knew that she always kind of had that in her. Um, obviously she did a lot of things as an artist, a lot of diversity in her catalog, but her coming to this style, giving it that, you know, modern twist to that sort of punk and pop punk, uh, feeling is really awesome. Definitely reminds me of the early two thousands. Anyways, I did that album reaction and I loved it. In today's video, we're going to check out Love It When You Hate Me featuring Black Bear. This is one of the songs that I really enjoyed on this album. I just felt like I hadn't really given Black Bear much of a chance in the past. And I felt like this collaboration worked really well. I felt like they both played on each other's strengths. And then the video came out and everyone said I should watch it. So here we are watching the video. I'm stoked. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to be more active over there. So yeah, encourage me. Okay, this is Love It When You Hate Me. Indicted for falling in love too many times. I'm a lush and I'm drunk again. I've another crush, don't rush. I really hope that as I continue to age in this life, and I do hope that I age for many years uh on, I hope that I age as gracefully as Avril Lavigne does. Like, you know, she always just looks like so youthful like it's so cool to me and especially when you're doing this style it's cool to see that like she has so much youthful energy in her just take your time don't feel too much and how about you just take some blame i always take all the pain mm. you should just forget my name oh my god i love that note So one of the things I mentioned in the original reaction was the, the fact that we're hearing her do that, you know, punk style more, but in this song, because you have Black Bear in this, you know, Black Bear does a little bit more of that alternative sort of like, you know, hip hop adjacent style. You get a little bit of those trap beats kind of going in the back and it's really cool to hear those things happening. Also, Avril Lavigne, you know, the one downside of this video, you shouldn't make jail look so cool. I don't think we should be going to jail. Um, having said that, uh, if I did, I would hope that I had this same sort of like swag that Avril is able to bring to jail with her and the fact that they let her in with a guitar. Mm. That's so sick. Fucking Travis Barker is just bringing pop punk back to life. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! So this is the thing about Black Bear. Like, I don't know much about him. Um... And it's cool to see that, like, not only does he bring a little bit of that alternative style into music, but it seems as though, like, that is something he's heavily influenced by, at least judging by the style that I'm seeing off of this. You know, he's covered in tattoos. He's, you know, got the pink hair, very, like, punk rock feeling in this. That makes me kind of want to, like, check out more from him because I wonder, like, what all he does with that style. I think of an of a artist like Youngblood who who has kind of, like, messed with various genres it, but like always being influenced by the punk rocks. Um, so I definitely feel like uh, more Black Bear in the future. The aesthetic to this video is so sick. You know what? It kind of reminds me of Good Charlotte, uh, Good Charlotte's Lifestyles of the Rich and the Famous. Like 
that was also filmed in a jail, although theirs was a little bit like darker. Um, it still has like very similar vibes. And again, I, I feel like when they were like really big, like definitely early 2000s was the same time that Avril was too. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up seeing some sort of collaboration from Avril and Good Charlotte. That would be sick. God, her vocals are so good. So Canadian. Eh? <laughs> Yo, Black Bear's got some really good teeth. Let me see if I can catch it. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it. No, I can't. They're really white and really straight. I'm super envious. Uh, Yeah, dude. What? You got the punk rocks, but you also have good teeth. Like, I'm okay with that. I feel like good hygiene is fucking dope. I feel like everyone should have good hygiene. I love it when you hate me. <laughs> That's dope. So I think DTA Records is uh, Travis Barker's thing, I think. Um, so a couple things that stick out to me right away. One, I love to see her with this much energy. Like just knowing some of the things that she's gone through, some of the health struggles that she's had, to see her kind of like putting all of it on the line and, and like coming into this genre full swing. Like it, basically like everything I ever wanted, she's doing it and doing it really well. And I do have to give credit where credit is due because I do feel like, whew, I'm just like, I watch this and I just get stoked. Travis Barker, love him or hate him. He is really like on the forefront of reviving this genre. And not that this genre necessarily died, because like pop punk's been around for all these years, but that mainstream level of of pop punk success, so the the Sum 41s, you know, Blink 182's kind of always been big, but the Sum 41s, the Good Charlottes, all of these bands that were like really dominating the radios when I was a kid, it's really cool to see that revival of 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 this style in the mainstream. Um, so yeah, credit where credit is due. Travis Barker is always working. So like I said, even if you don't like him, you gotta respect the hustle. I personally uh, saw some things that I want to address in the uh, reaction to Avril Lavigne's album because I saw a lot of people talking about how it didn't make sense for a 36 year old girl to be singing in such basic lyricism like almost and i believe the word used was juvenile and i'm not hating on these people's opinions by the way like i i get that opinion i totally understand from my perspective growing up listening to this style meaning getting into the descendants at a very young age when they were in their you know probably late 20s early 30s and now that they still tour i went and saw them as recently as 2018 i think um it, well into their 50s maybe even further than that writing new albums that still have some basic lyricism i guess like for me it, it's not that jarring to hear i feel like you know most fat records bands at this point everyone is well into their 40s and 50s still singing juvenile lyrics i feel like it's it's what works for the for the style of music and, and that's another thing is like you know she is an amazing lyricist because of head above water and I feel like when you're going into this style, you want to do your best to approach the style with with paying respects to it, bringing your own influence on it, but keeping things, you know, somewhat similar to, to that style. And this more simplistic style of lyricism works really well for this. So I guess like 
my opinion on it is if you're gonna do this style this is the right lyricism like yes there's times when i want to hear some like bad religion style lyrics where like it doesn't matter how many times you read the lyrics you're never gonna understand them because the the thinking is so outside the box but when it comes to just like fun pop punk singing about love and emotions and things like that this is the style so that's my only opinion on it i gotta say seeing her in this video again so youthful that youthful energy coming to life and i keep using the word youthful because this is a very youth-esque genre i feel like this is where you know kids that were kind of like outcast in school um i you know i associate myself with this a lot because i was an introvert who didn't have a ton of friends but this is what mattered to me those things you know translate really well when when somebody is bringing the full force of that and you totally see that in here avril looks like she's having the time of her life i feel like just the various attitudes that we're getting in here, you know, the little heart sign and then the middle finger. Uh, I just feel like that is an approach that I've wanted for her from her forever. So it's fucking cool to see it here. Black Bear killed this shit. I didn't realize how into like the alternative style he was. I actually thought he was like just a like rap dude that just happened to love some pop punk here and there but i definitely need to check out more of him because he kind of reminds me of young blood but like in a different way like obviously young blood style is very different but the way that they both kind of brought alternative music into different genres is pretty sick overall i'm so glad to see this style running and doing so well it seems as though avril's album is doing really well and i've talked about this before but you know because this style you know hasn't been popular for so long it's amazing to see artists that could do any style that they want go back and do this instead because yes you do it for less money and i talk about that a lot like this isn't the most popular style in the world but you get a chance to do what you're passionate about and in turn bring this back to the mainstream avril lavigne is a major artist machine gun kelly major artist travis barker will forever be a major artist so when these artists are putting their efforts into this, we have no choice but to stand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out the full uncut album reaction over on Patreon, links in the description. I don't do sponsorships because that shit's whack. So in exchange for that, you know, I am very thankful to have my Patreon supporters. I couldn't hear what you said. I said I'm thankful to have my Patreon supporters because of you guys i don't have to take sponsorships and i appreciate you you guys make the channel everything that it is so i love you all let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of this video i'll see you in the next one peace